live at I forgot the name of the restaurant. CC Tian Tian. Tian Tian. <laughs> oh, Tian Tian. Yes. Um, in is it where it was? The Mandela Avenue in Guyana, in Georgetown. In Georgetown. Yeah? Okay. Um, and today we are on day. Okay. So sorry about that. I'm using my sister Abiola's phone as a hotspot. And then she walked away. So today's video, even though Shane said you're not supposed to start the thing today, I'm going to talk about. But because today is about giving myself compliments, I will say today with the prompt because I don't want you to think I'm just coming over here to give myself compliments. <laughs> so. Um, she says to give herself a compliment of something on the outside and something on the inside. For me, um, my greatest quality for myself is myself is my um, sense of humor. I think is my best quality. Um, I think I'm hilarious. I don't know. I don't think other people necessarily think that, but I, in my opinion, I'm up there with Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. <laughs> I think I'm one of the great comedians of our time. <laughs> um, um, what's Red Fox, all of them, and, and Damali. I'm up there <laughs> with the greats. Uh, if there was a, what do you call that thing with the people's faces? Mount Everest of comedy, I would put myself there. Um, and you're probably laughing right now because why what I'm saying is hilarious. And um, for something on the outside, I would compliment my style. I like the way that I express myself through my clothes and accessories. Um, my style is largely inspired by my parents and my aunts and uncles, especially like looking through old photo albums from the 70s. Um, people, everybody in my family dresses, and my mother growing up would always tell us um, it's better to be overdressed than underdressed and that always stuck with me and I would even evolve it to say there's no such thing as overdressed where you know just go for it that's me I'm a, I'm a maximalist and I love to be um, I love to be dressed at all times and so um, so that would be my compliment to myself. And then outside of like my family and like my older brother and sister, Abiola and Kinso, they're also huge style influences on me. Um, when we were younger, like people always complain about, oh, I have to get hand-me-downs from my older siblings. I always loved getting hand-me-downs from my older siblings. As a matter of fact, I would go and steal their clothes. <laughs> and you would steal mine too, don't even say that. <laughs> yeah, she would steal my clothes too. That's my sister Aviola. Um, and who else? And then outside of my family, Mary J. Blige is like my style icon. I think she's the fiercest person in the history of clothing and style and fashion. Um, underrated in, in many ways for all of her talents. But as a fashion and style icon, um, Mary J. Blige to me is just the best of the best of the best. So, oh, and I want to show you guys something else. Oh, give me the phone so I can take the hotspot with me. <laughs> Thank you. And look at this over here. You guys got to see this medicated wine. It's got in it. It's got claws and it's got bone and claws in it. It's, apparently, it's a tonic for men. 